What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another FNAF news video. It's kind of news, it's kind of not. It's kind of more of a theory video than a news video, but it's a book video. And you know that when there's things about the books that I need to talk about, I get very excited because they are my favourite parts of this series as a whole. Now I just want to say first of all, uh, I'm really sorry if one, I don't seem too excitable today, uh, and two, I look like a mess because I am currently suffering from COVID and uh, honestly, uh, this is like the first time I've gotten out of bed in like two days. So um, <laughs> please uh, have sympathy. But I am excited, I truly am excited because we have a title for the second story in Lally's game. So this is Tales from the Peterplex number one. Uh, and we have the description for the book, and of course we had the title, Lally's Game, which is very mysterious by itself, but now we have the title for the second stories. Interestingly, we don't have the, um, the title for the third story, but this is because uh, of the person who wrote the second story, uh, I believe it's Kelly Para. She's basically had an update saying that uh, there's a new uh, story that she's written or something in Tales from the Peterplex 1. You, you'll see it on the screen in a minute, but I actually haven't seen the title yet, so let's have a look together, let's have a little reaction. So, uh, general description, the upcoming series, Tales from the Peterplex, blah 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 blah. Ooh! Frailty. Frailty. That is the, the title of the second story. That's a weird title. Um, it's very vague. <laughs> I was hoping it would be less vague and it would be more connected, but that's fine too. It's very vague. Frailty. It's it's kind of... I hope it's one of those stories that... Um, I hope it's emotional. I wonder if it gets emotional. I, I like the emotional stories. Uh, not just like in-your-face horror, more like psychological horror. Um, kind of emotional horror, is that a thing? Fra what does frailty mean? I believe frailty means like weak and kind of fragile. Let's have a look. What does frailty mean? Okay, yeah, frailty is the condition of being weak and delicate. So I'm trying to think of things that are weak and delicate in not only Security Breach, but the Five Nights at Freddy's series. I mean, the first thing that comes, yeah, the first thing that kind of comes to mind is the scrapped animatronics from Security Breach. Um, so obviously, when you when you defeat Chica, obviously there's there's that one picture that we saw before Security Breach even came out. It, that that picture kind of comes to mind, uh, where Chica's broken down. She's very frail. Um, I don't know. I I don't know other than that really. If we've had like weak and delicate. Um, animatronics? I I don't know, maybe the puppet? <laughs> I, like, I have no idea. I... this is interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to see where this is gonna go. And actually, I was just about to say that's all we really have. But no, because we do have the description of all of the stories. So, let's have a look at what the second one is. I think I know which one it is. So... The description of the book is a forbidden artifact from a fiance's past beckons to Selena, blah blah blah. That's the first story. And then we have Jessica leads a double life from her friends and co-workers in the children's wing of a hospital. Okay. So let's break this down real quickly. The story is called Frailty and it's about um, someone who leads a double life in a children's wing of a hospital. I have a feeling that the frail thing could be, I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, something to do with the hospital. Because obviously hospitals are there to make frail and weak people into stronger people uh, or, you know. And I really think that this theme of like a, a hospital uh, really brings up the theme of weakness and I am, um, hmm, this, this title has surprised me because I, it is very, very vague and it's a really weird word, right? Frailty, why frailty? Um, I don't know how that's gonna pop up, but um, Jessica clearly works in the children's wing of a hospital, but she is living a double life from the people in the hospital. I believe this is a massive parallel 
to Vanessa and Vanny, of course. We know that Vanessa works at the Pizzaplex, but from that, she kind of has a, a, a double life. She kills at the Pizzaplex. <laughs> so um, I, I feel like that's a massive parallel. Maybe it works in the same sort of way. Maybe Jessica kills people in a hospital. <laughs> I don't know, it, it's just the one word title, it makes me think it's gonna be maybe gory. It's gonna be like emotional or it's gonna be gore. It's gonna have a really powerful impact, I believe. Um, and I, I'm really, this, this is the one story that I'm really intrigued on. Um, the whole Jessica double life hospital story. Uh, and now that we've got the title Frailty, I believe it is going to be a, uh, it's gonna be a weird story. So let me know what you believe in the comments below. Obviously this is a very short video, but uh, I only had one thing to really announce. Two things if you count COVID. Send me wishes that I get well in the near future. I'm hoping to get out uh, of isolation in a few days, but uh, can't be too sure. I'm also very sorry for the lack of videos recently. Uh, I have been kind of absent from YouTube. But um, I'm hoping to come back with um, some more videos very soon. I have one big video planned in my, in my mind, um, but that's going to take a, a while to, to make. So um, hopefully I'll have some shorter videos before that video. Anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure that you like, you comment and you subscribe. But I've been Ozone and I have to go Zone. I'll see you later. Goodbye.